Hello everyone, we will make a web application using the Python Streamlit library. There is a list of cars in the code file. I enter a value into the input object. If the entered car brand is on the list, a message is displayed. Otherwise, I publish the informative message on the website. In the video I will show step by step how to make a web page. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I start the web page. You can start the process using this code. In the previous video, we learned how to add images, audio and video to a web page. I still recommend you watch the playlist in order. Now I am deleting these objects. I will add an input object to the web page. I am creating a variable. I will use the text input function. I send the input header to the function. Input object has been added to the web page. I can write text on the web page using the write function. I send the input variable to the write function. I save the code file and refresh the page. I enter a car brand. When I press enter, the input I entered on the web page is displayed. You can try different things. Let's create a button object. I am creating a variable. I am sending the button name to the button function. I sent the button variable to the right function. When the button is pressed, the variable takes the value true. Let's try. Normally the button variable has the value false. When you press the button, it has the value true. Now let's create a car brand list. I am sending Toyota, Fiat, Ford and BMW values to the list. If the button value is true, that is, the button is pressed, I will convert the input variable to lower case using the lower function. If it exists, the have it variable will be true. If have it is true, I will display appropriate text using the right function. If not, I will issue a message stating that the entered car brand is not listed. I save the code file and refresh the web page. I enter a car brand. Even though Toyota was on the list, the wrong message was published. I forgot to use parentheses when using the lower function. I add parentheses. When I click on the button, a message is issued stating that the entered value is in the list. You can make a few tries. In this video, we learned how to add buttons and input objects to the web application with Python Streamlit. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.